Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palska International Nail Artist and Educator. And as a big thank you, check what we are going to do today. Yes, I am very excited. That's a beautiful one, something a little bit more advanced and beautiful. I just to say thank you, like for all your support, like all the shares, all the likes, all those amazing comments, and the way the channel is growing. So I do really appreciate that. And I thought I will show you something a little bit more advanced, uh, just so you can uh, still enjoy the time spent on this channel. Let's start painting this beautiful swan. Absolutely stunning and romantic design of this swan, and that's what we are going to paint today. So we are going to use the blue cream jelly, which is blue. And I'm just putting a tiny bit on the mixing palette. Uh, Thailand Beauty. That's the Neo, uh, Neo Gel Polishes. And the Chasing Dreams, a beautiful pastel pink which we will use for a swan and also we are going to use the paint on French gel and a drop of the yellow that is a color sunshine princess and a rock gear which is like a bright bright pink so I have put all those colors on the side and the foil design gel of course and black so just a drop of that as well uh, to start painting this design we want to do some background just so this one is going to be visible and I will be using the sponge for like an ombre. We're going into the blue one with the drop of the pink one. So this way we have created like an um, kind of vintage look background. We're just dabbing it in until you're happy. And I wanted those two colors uh, just so it's more interesting, it's not too flat. Also, when they mix, they create a purple, so this is a perfect combination of the colors for me. And now I'm going to give it a cure. We will start with the body of this one. And the easiest way to paint it is to do a number two, and that's the way how I have been painting it, like even in a primary school. So my first tip is ready. And I'm going to paint the number two in here. So my brush goes into the paint on French white. I'm just painting a number two. I'm not going to rush this design like uh, I want to make a decent job out of it. Sometimes you see me doing like very quickly the designs and for this one I just want to take my time. So we have painted number two. And once the number two is done, we can make it thicker. So I'm just coloring that in and make the neck thicker. Then the head here. So we are going to make it rounded, nice and decent size.
and smooth everything out. To thicken up the part of the neck in here. Now we need to imagine where the pick is going to come up. So my pick is going to be somewhere here. And that's mean I need a tiny bit more white here. Just so the head shape um, is quite nice. After we have created this base, I'm going to give it a cure. And on the other tip, we are going to paint the wing. So here, there is going to be a bottom of this one, the rest of the body. And then the wing is going to be here. So nice wave. And then we are going to paint a couple more waves. One in here. Another one in there. And now I need to color them in. Yeah, after we have created that, I can give it a, maybe I make it a bit bigger. Why not? I think it will look prettier. Yeah, bigger, bigger wink looks better. <laughs> and then I can give it a cure. Also, thank you so much, guys, for all your support, like shares and comments and everything. It's so nice to see the channel growing. We also need uh, another part of the background, which is some roses. So I'm just picking in my brush into the pink. And I'm painting a splash of the color. So same like we did this one, just a splash of the color. And then some more on the top. So here is going to be a tiny three corner filled up. And another corner filled up in here. Swap the tips. And do the same on this one. So a tiny wee one here. Plus we had something in the corner in there, so we make them more join in. And we can also paint one bigger one in here. Swap them again. So my white is completely cured now and I can swap into um, another layer. So we are going to start fading the body of the, back, uh, of the swan. I have put a drop of the top coat and I'm dipping in my brush into this pink, like a very light pastel pink. And I'm start fading it. Then drop in into the top coat and make everything to be nicely blended. And the curvature of the head goes this way. So that's the way I'm kind of painting the strokes. Just 
just to show the scarves. I'm only depending on my brush in the top coat now. I want that to be all nicely blended in. And then the carve goes in here, so that's the way I'm doing the strokes. And then when I'm happy with this layer, I can give it a cure. And we are going to do exactly the same in here. So the body of the uh, of the swan, I don't know why I keep saying a butterfly, because maybe of the swing. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm trying to say it. And then I'm going to also fade it in a little bit in here. So just... Uh, touch of those pink we also like all the ideas are coming from the uh, shop we've got a nice shop uh, which was open not long time ago and for William like and I'm going and searching all the ideas what else I could paint it uh, on the needles and they've got those different kind of thin uh, like unicorns mermaids swans so everywhere and uh, there is a swan beard now like on any kind of like notebooks, like little accessories and pillows and everywhere. So I thought it would be nice to show you on the nails as well how to paint it. Patrick is always like, oh my goodness, she goes again to this shop buying bits and pieces. So I'm keep fading. I don't want to really rush, uh, as I say, this design, like I want to make it nice and pretty. So I'm just fading more. with the top coat. Okay, I can give it a cure again. And now we are going to do a splash of the color uh, for the leaves. So I'm just, I didn't clean my brush. I just dip it in to the blue. So this way I could add kind of wee leaves. And what I'm doing is I'm just wiggling a little bit and pulling the brush down. Even the touches will do, so you, you're creating kind of really a wee splash. I can do the same on the other one. So just a wee splashes of the blue. And also I can move on into the next part of this one. So I will be doing a pick. To do that, I've got my yellow and those bright, bright pink. And I'm mixing these two colors together. And you can see I've got nice orange here. So I'm starting with the yellow first. So I want my pick to be here. I'm just painting the shape of the peak. And I wanted it to be pretty decent size. And again, it is only um, 
background for it. So I'm going to give it a flash cube on this one. We can move on into the next part, which is going to be the detail on the splashes of the color. Just like a wee needle of the flower. We leaf. Another wee leaf. Now the middle of the roses. And the way this one is placed, I wanted it to face this direction. So I have swapped the brush for a painting fine liner. Just for a nicer detail. And then I'm just outlining the sweet flower. Nothing overly too complicated. That's the easiest way to paint kind of like a wee flowery, more kind of a vintage flower shape. So I've got one. And do that in here. She says don't rush the design and now she's spinning. <laughs> no, I'm not going to rush it, it's too much. I'm going to slow it down now. We also need a couple of the dots for this part. Don't use your brush for a dotting uh, for dots. Uh, just your dotting tool, just pop. Because usually, if you're going for the got some hair there. If you're going um, to use the brush, you will wreck the tip of it. And I have done it to many of my brushes because of the laziness. <laughs> so don't repeat my mistakes. So we have created some kind of detail and we need to also give some dimension to this wing. Uh, I will do that in a minute. So on this tip we are going to do exactly the same. But because here is a swan, I want to make a nicer roses. <laughs> So I will be just a little bit slower. It's always like this, like the longer time we spend on something, the prettier it looks. So look at this splash of the color. We are changing it into the wee leaf. Another beautiful rose. And this one is more like kind of side direction.
same this one here so I'm just painting like a wee letter C, C and then this leaf we need to exchange it to be beautiful and we've got a nice leaf couple dots Actually, I'm just going to patch one more petal here on the rose. That is better. So it's more kind of nicer shape. <laughs> Swap it. And now I want to give you the dimension on this one. So I will be swapping to my slightly thicker brush again. And we want to define those feathers here. So I'm just applying a thicker layer of the white paint on French gel. And this way I'm getting kind of like a wee dimension in it. More of the kind of 3D look. So it looks like they are real feathers now. I'm going to give it a cure. Okay, this one is cured and we can um, still, we need to do a little detail on our peak. So I'm just going into the darker orange now. And the places I wanted it to be darker are here, close to the it and more of the bottom of the peak so that's it much darker now I also want to indicate where the wing is starting so my wing is starting here And make it a little bit lighter just so you can see it that there is something like a wee wing there give a bit of feathery look to it now i'm going to give it a cure because we will start painting the pick and because i have put the color over it i cannot apply it i can apply the top coat on this one And what I love it like uh, that you can still see those feathers kind of 3D look uh, created with the paint on French. I've got a wee something there. Okay, let's move on into the hardest part of this design. And this is going to be the face of this one and the pick. So I'm swapping to my fine liner brush, the painting fine liner one. And now I'm going to paint with the black detail. So I'm just going to go into the comfy position. So when I'm painting like a large things, I don't mind how I see it, but for those kind of small detail, I need to secure my hands and like keep it nice and steady. And hold my breath. <laughs> so I will be starting like preparing my brush and I take ages for that. Like I want to make sure I've got really nice fine point. And then I will be starting with the place where I can have more, more mistake in there. So from the thickest part. So 
So this is my thickest part. And now I'm going to start each time from the same place. Make it like a wee triangle. And now, once I know where I am, I can make it a little bit bigger. And start painting the place where the eye is going to be. Again, you want to start from the place where you've got the darkest color so you don't do the mistake. And now we need to separate the peak. And make the nose. And this is the part which I'm going to cure it. It's not 100% finished, but in case if I do any mistake, I can still improve it. So I'm just shooting and uh, going to give it a couple seconds cure. So always when you paint something pretty important, just give it a cure in case you do mistake later on and you want to wipe it off. <laughs> so I really want to still perfect this one this peak is really really important I'm applying a darker orange with the drop of the black on the bottom Just so it looks like there is a wee shadow. And that's the same color I'm going to use to prolong this uh, place where the pig divide into half. Because I don't want to go with too strong black in there. That's my pig finished. But this one has much darker black and here so I'm just preparing my brush and painting it much thicker and now we need to do the eye so the eye is going to be in here So we have indicated the place where the eye is going to be and I'm going to give it a cure. Just don't want to mistake in there. The wink is finished uh, and it's actually turned out to be a really really nice wink. I hope you think the same. Inside the eye I'm going to place some blue color. So a blue dot going in there and again I have to give it a flash cure otherwise I cannot place the black and then white on top of it. So a couple seconds cure and then the next one we're going to place a black dot in there. So I've got black dot but at the same time I will just fade it a little bit more so I'm applying the top coat and my pink so I want to give a little bit of shadow under the eye.
and toward the pigus. I'm darkening up the neck. And exactly where the head is here as well, it needs to be darker. I can give it a cure. seconds really just to freeze the product let me know uh, down in the comments as well like what you think about those type of designs are they not too time consuming uh, or do you want to see kind of more of this type of designs i would like to really know what you think i'm needing also a sparkle in his eye so i'm just dipping in my brush in white And I'm painting the tiniest, tiniest sparkle ever. I will kind of start finishing this tutorial and apply the top coat. But in general, I could keep going a little bit more and longer, like to give a bit more definition to it, a little bit more shadows. and. I kind of enjoy this type of painting. The more detail it has, the nicer it is for me. I'm going to give it a cure. I will do one more thing. Um, so a couple seconds cure, and I'm just going to put the last highlights. So this time the top coat and a white. And I'm just going to highlight the curvature of the neck I know it's something like some of you might say like you cannot hardly see it even there uh, I think it it does show there is a wee texture going on in there Almost like a wee feathers. And just thicken up this part. For proportion. And that's this one finished. So I'm just going to apply the top coat over it. <clears throat> and I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. So I'm just applying the top coat. Again, you can put the requests up. Uh, I've got like a wee list of the requests and I'm trying to do uh, them whenever I find the time to do it. I actually like this one. I'm going to go to the shop for more inspiration. Actually, I love shopping. So, uh, so yeah, I will be going to the shop again, uh, search new different ideas. I think it is fantastic. Um, same the clothes and the fashion is a really great way to search for different kind of ideas which we could use later on on the news especially that the clients are buying the same kind of stuff um, so they will have it in their house and 
actually I put on my hand cameraman is like wow what are you doing are you no he's not <laughs> uh, but I don't want the light to reflect on it so that's our cute swan with an angel wing anyway glittery hacks and thanks for watching guys bye for now